Hello and welcome back to the second week of Columbia Insights Creative Clash. My name is Joshua Short and I will be your host this wonderful Thursday morning. We've had some amazing talent on the show with us these past two weeks and in the studio today we have yet another great contestant. Triple Threat Jerome Riley is here to perform his version of Santa Fe from the hit musical Newsies. We are very excited for this performer. So without further ado, here's the one and only Jerome Riley. So that's what they call a family Mother, daughter, father, son Guess that everything you heard about is true So you ain't got any family Well, who said you needed one? Ain't you glad nobody's waiting up for you? When I dream on my own I'm alone, but I ain't lonely For a dream a night's the only time a day When the cities find me sleeping All my thoughts begin to stray And I'm on a train that's bound for Santa I'm free the wind like I'm gonna live forever it's a feeling time can never take away all I need's a few more dollars and I'm out of here to stay dreams come true yes they do in Santa Fe where did they say you gotta live and die here? Where does it say a guy can't catch a break? Why should you only take what you're given? Why should you spend your whole life living trapped where there ain't no future? Even at 17, breaking your back for someone else's sake. If the life don't seem to suit ya, how about a change of scene? Far from the lousy headlines and the deadlines in between. Santa Fe, are you there? Do you swear you won't forget me? If I found you, would you let me come and stay? Ain't getting any younger And before my dying day I want space I just air Let them laugh in my face I don't care Save a place I'll be there So that's what they call a family Ain't you glad you ain't that way? Ain't you glad you got a dream called Santa Fe? Great job, buddy. Thanks. Terrific job. I had to ask my producers for some Kleenex. Viewers, send in your responses and questions for this guy, Jerome, to at Creative Clash on Twitter. And don't go away after the break. We'll sit down with this guy and ask him a few questions about him and his musical talents. So don't move that mouse. We'll be right back. I'll fly us to the moon If we we will arrive tomorrow afternoon We could take our daddy's rubber out under the stars Bucket in a crater and pretend the moon is ours If this 
this feeling never dies I'll kiss you when you close your eyes We'll turn our heads up to the skies Watching the earth rise The days will all turn into months And I'm in literally Let you give us a whole bunch of time To go sightseeing We'll find the glory in the turf And give her a salute Plant a new flag for the earth It's the least that we could do This is where we're supposed to be Six gravity, so let's give moon rocks cross the sea of tranquility. Welcome back to Creative Clash. I just want to remind you that you can send in your responses to Jerome's performance as well as your questions for him by using the handle at Creative Clash on Twitter. Do it right now. We might feature your tweet later on in the show. Now that we've seen some of what Jerome can do with his voice, let's talk with him about him and his other talents. Jerome, an amazing job up there. Thank you. When did you start all of this singing aspirations? Where did it come from? Um, I've been singing as long as I can remember. Um, when I was a child, I just sang all the time. Um, I remember being a toddler, and every time I would be in the car, I would fall asleep because of the motions. <laughs> but whenever a song came on on the radio that I enjoyed, I would wake up out of my sleep, sing the song, and go back to sleep. So I've been singing for such a long time. That's great to hear. So explain to the viewers who will be voting for you, essentially, who you are, what you're all about. All right. So. Um, I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. I grew up in a place called Normandy, but I went to high school and grade school um, in Webster Groves, Missouri. Um, I spent most of my time with my grandmother because she lived in the town that I went to school in. Um, I started doing theater when I was in the seventh grade. Uh, my first show was called Once on This Island, and I was in the chorus, and it was just like so much fun. Um, I s took a year off in eighth grade, and then I started back in high school, and like. Mm -hmm. I started doing choir, and I was in a cappella groups, and I did a lot of theater. I met my best friends in the theater that I live in Chicago with right now. And like, how have they supported you throughout this? Um, they're super supportive. My best friend sings opera. My other best friend um, is a director. She goes to DePaul. Okay. We've all just been so engulfed in the arts and so supportive. Definitely. Definitely. So you say you're from St. Louis, and earlier um, at the beginning of the show, I said triple threat. Explain <laughs> that to the viewers. You're not only a singer, correct? No, I sing, dance, and act. It's yeah. amazing. And, and <laughs> when, uh, does all of this intertwine? Was all of this developed, this passion at the same time? Um, as a child, yeah. I, I, when I started singing, I did want to take acting classes and I wanted to dance, but I wasn't able to do those two things. So, which why? is probably why. I, my parents just didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. um, it costs a lot. And you go to Columbia, money. right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I do go to Columbia. <laughs> Luckily, like, I worked really hard in high school, and like, yeah. I go here. Like, I have a very good scholarship, and I'm so privileged mm -hmm. to have that. Like, I would not be going to Columbia if I didn't. Um, Explain but yeah. the influence of your parents and their My support. My parents are. I honestly can't put into words how much I love them and how supportive they are. They literally will text me on a random day mm -hmm. and they'll just say like, I hope you're doing all right. Like, we love you. We support you. You're like, you're going to be okay. I mean, also because I have a lot of freak out moments mm -hmm. and I usually freak out to my parents. I like call them and I'm like, ah, like, I'm going crazy. <laughs> help. So they know that I'm a little unstable sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So it's really nice to it's have them. It's understandable. It's one of those, it's a field that's very tough, especially yeah. performing in front of people. What is your, uh, what would you say is your uh, favorite genre of music? Um, my favorite genre of music outside of musical theater, I really enjoy like indie folk music, like okay. singer songwriter, like okay. guitar, piano stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a huge fan of Regina Spector. She's my favorite artist. Um, and explain her to the viewers. So she's a Russian-born singer songwriter. She moved to the states when she was nine years old, um, and she started playing the piano at that age, and she writes all of her music about her life and society and like how she feels about certain things 
and all of her songs are so amazing. Definitely. And it, they're all like very different from musical theater, like super different and kind of strange. Like yeah. she uses a lot of onomatopoeias, which is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sounds like and things of that The sounds nature. that. Wow, that's amazing. And I just want to, you say you're a 90s fan, you love the 90s music, and this explains the <laughs> 90s vineyard that you love and adore so much. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this outfit. It's amazing. Wow. Explain the 90s for me. Um, I really wish that I hadn't been a toddler during the 90s <laughs> because I feel like I missed out on something that was so awesome. Like, mm -hmm. the movies were so good, the music was so good, the fashion was amazing. I just feel like everyone had such a great time in the 90s. And I mean, I was alive during it and I was like kind of aware, mm -hmm. but like I didn't really get to relish in the fact that I was like in the 90s wearing like high waisted pants and overalls. <laughs> like, ugh, Definitely. I love it. Do you have any influences from the 90s? Oh my God, yeah. I mean, everything that I wear is pretty, oh, it's not, yeah, I guess you could say it probably is from the 90s because I thrift a lot. Mm -hmm. So who knows of the origin of my clothes? Um, this shirt is actually my dad's, and I'm sure he bought it in the 90s. <laughs> what about theater um, attracts you so much? It's galvanizing to you. The way that I feel when I'm singing, dancing, and acting is something that is so hard for me to describe. It's like I internalize that so much, and it just feels so good in my body. And I literally do theater for myself. Mm -hmm. Like I know that some people do it. A lot of people think that, oh, people do musical theater because they like to have the lights on them, like all eyes on them, but I literally like do it for myself. Gotcha. So much so that I sing literally all the time. Like mm -hmm. it's just something that like cleanses me and like soothes me and like really brings me to like a good center. That's really good. That's good to hear. Great answers, Jerome. Now, our audience at home, they've been voting, folks. They've been watching, they've been tweeting throughout the show, and our social media producer, Kim, is with us. She has been monitoring your questions on and comments for Jerome. Kim, what's our first tweet? Daisha asks, why, do you, why did you choose that song? Awesome voice, though. You sound like a Disney Channel character. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> um, <laughs> I chose that song well, because... Don't turn red on me. Come on. No, I chose that song because I freaking love Newsies, the movie musical. I, I enjoyed the, the Broadway musical, um, but the movie musical preceded it. Um, it it's from 1993. It stars Christian Bale. Mm -hmm. And I just love that song. Um, I was going to I, say, uh, new, uh, you, you decided to do Santa Fe, the name of my car, by the way. <laughs> Santa Fe, out of all songs, why Santa Fe? I chose that one specifically. It's, um, it's been in my music theater book for a, about, like t about two years. I'm a transfer student, um, and my first college wasn't the best experience for me. So I took to really practicing and like mm -hmm. finding songs that could help me emote, because I, I felt that I, I really lost myself. and I. I wasn't feeling while I was there, so I had to use outside influences UF to like allow me today. to feel. Oh yeah. And so that song in particular really hits home for me because for me back then Santa Fe was coming to Chicago. Definitely. Um, Kim, do we have some more? Ryan asks, while listening to your m favorite music with headphones on, do you ever just sing out loud? Yes. <laughs> I sing on the street. I sing on the train. I sing in my house. I literally sing so much that like, and I, it's not even something that I'm super aware of. <laughs> and I'll just be singing and then I'll notice people looking at me strange. I also kind of dance around too, just because I'm like so in my own world, especially in the morning. Like I can't talk to people in the morning. I really need that, like my morning train commute to like listen to music, sing, find out like, become a human being because I <laughs> can't speak in the morning. Jerome, you have been a fantastic guest today. I appreciate it. You've been a great singer. Awesome job up there on stage. Unfortunately, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you to all you viewers who are watching at home. If you love Jerome, I definitely did, and his outstanding performance, vote for him at tinyurl.com forward slash vote creative clash right there on your screen. He can't win without your vote. If you want to see more talent, tune in to the next show today at 4 p.m. I'm your host, Joshua Short. Thank you for watching Creative Clash, and I will see you next week.
Great job, man. Thank you.